functions of gerund. It is our second part, which is related to gerund. Before this, we have already discussed about gerund. Let's see what are the different usage of uh, gerund or functions of gerund. How it is used in different ways. First, gerund as a subject of the verb. Visiting New York is always an exciting experience. Here, if we talk about visiting, so visiting is the subject of the verb and New York is its complement. Being rude to customers won't earn you many tips. So here, being is used as a subject of the verb. Running is a good way to explore. So running is used here as a subject of the verb. You can see its position, the subject position has been occupied here. The or next function of it is the object of a verb. I love visiting. I love what? Visiting. And New York, if you talk about, so New York is used here, um, complement of this, Janet. <clears throat> visiting is the direct object of the verb love. And second case, he likes running. Same in this case, this is basically direct object of the verb. And what is that verb? Likes. Before this, we have already discussed how we can find um, gerunds or noun position because gerund in fact plays the role of a noun. A mother loves cooking. What does your mother love? So your mother loves cooking. Here, cooking is used as the direct object of the verb and what is that? That is loves. So um, if we talk about... Uh, Gerund, it can be used as direct or indirect object of the verb. The object of a preposition. Example, I surprise them by visiting New York. So this by is preposition and after it, the remaining part, the gerund part is there. So that's why that is, this is basically called under the category of object of a preposition because it is used after the preposition. Visiting is the object of preposition by. I am thinking of drawing. So basically drawing is the object of the preposition what of. A subject complement. Before this we have discussed object of a preposition and now it can function as a subject complement. My highlight was visiting New York. My highlight was visiting New York. So visiting is a subject complement. It completes the linking verb uh, was and renames the subject, making it a subject complement. So in fact, when we talk about was, was is linking verb here. Now in the another case, my new hobby is running. So it is talking about what it is giving you more uh, info regarding subject. So that's why uh, this is subject complement because it is giving more info regarding subject. After preposition, um, in many examples, you have uh, observed. And if you have not observed, so now whenever after this onward, whatever you will read, you have to be very careful then you will be uh, able to find out such examples where gerund is used after the preposition. After sneezing, for example, number one, I always get the hiccups. So what is this after preposition and after preposition you have gerund. The next example, he told the joke without laughing. So here it is used <coughs> uh, after preposition. So that's why. This is the example of um, gerund, use of gerund after the preposition, in spite of studying. I think in spite of, despite of, like side type of examples are quite common. Like after these, we have commonly observed that uh, gerunds are used. So in spite of, so here this in spite of is the example of preposition and soon after it, you can easily see that a gerund has been used. Let's uh, have fun and think about it because already we have 
done first episode of challenge and i think now after it it will be easy for you to point these out you just need to focus about that the what is the usage of it where it is used the position um, either on the subject position on the object position or like after preposition or what um another important thing please keep it remember whenever we talk about gerunds gerunds they look like a verb but they do not play the role of verb in fact they are considered now acting is fun so here you can see the position of acting and in the beginning of a sentence we have found it so i think it's very easy for you to understand when it occupies the place of subject what it should be and subject places are occupied by either a noun or a pronoun or dummy pronouns now see the gerin is the subject of the sentence so gerin is acting playing football is fun if you focus on it uh, such examples have been already discussed um let's check the gerin is the subject of the sentence and the word football is the gerin complement of the gerin playing so playing is in fact subject and football is its complement one or two examples we have already done in our previous slides acting is merely the art of keeping a large group of people from coughing now see here three times um gerin have been used and these this line this sentence has been taken from um very important word acting as a gerin as a subject the gerunds keeping and coughing are uh, objects of prepositions you can easily observe that before keeping uh, we have um found of and before coughing from so for the first one was acting is the um, is gerin and used as a subject and then in remaining two example in the same sentence we have basically what we have gerin um, we have basically used these after what after the object of preposition because before this preposition uh prepositions have been used so what we are trying to tell you that it's not necessary in one sentence you can find the one example of yeah and there is a possibility you may may find uh, more than one examples of gerund then you need to be very um, careful that you have to try to find it out which category of gerund or which type of function it is playing there i love acting it is so much more real than life oscar wilde's play and he has basically once said this a gerund as acting as the direct object of the verb love so it is what you can uh, find it in the position of maybe direct object or maybe an indirect object as well you can tell a lot about a fellow's character by his way of eating jelly bean so a few example we have basically uh, chosen from very famous uh, writers playwrights or playwrights uh, their work so try to prove it that yes the authenticity of this jerin a gerund as the object of a preposition because if you focus before eating preposition of is used so it's very clear it's easy to find it out then the last one is for you and you have to tell me that sleeping is hard if you suffer from anxiety here you can see the word sleeping and you can easily point it out from where it has been started where it is used its placement placement in english language placement is very important uh, you need to be very uh, vigilant when you are going to find out any specific term its uh, name in from mcq's point of view because sometimes uh, um, one part of his speech or one word can play the role of different uh, parts of his speech and how you can easily find it out which usage so usage it matters a lot to focus on it and i think um 
mostly are able to answer me if I talk about this and after sleeping, soon after sleeping. Um, what is his use? So basically what it is sleeping and sleeping is occupying the place of subject. So of course sleeping is used here as sleeping means Jaren is used here as subject. Hopefully uh, you have found it easy and helpful for you. And if you find any problem, first, but I would like to suggest um, watch it one to two times. If it is easy for you in the first attempt, it's okay. Otherwise, two to three times you need to watch it. Make your notes. And even though if you find that something is difficult, you can mention in comment box. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.